decision day in the New York primary. Governor Andrew Cuomo has defeated primary challenger Cynthia Nixon to win his party's nomination for a third term. He now moves on to the general election in November. We have team coverage of that race and much more, beginning with CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer. She's live in Midtown now. Marsha? Well, Maurice and Christine, it was about 9.20 tonight when a huge cheer went up here, and that's because 20 minutes after the polls closed, the election was called for Andrew Cuomo. Now, it came after a huge turnout of voters all around the state, and people here say that we were on par to break a million voters, which is about double what the turnout was four years ago. Cheering crowds in loving embraces. New York Democrats, Andrew Cuomo Democrats, thrilled at his decisive win over Cynthia Nixon. It's a great night for the governor, uh, but it's also a great night for Democrats. The victory also applauded by Christine Quinn. I think it shows clearly that New Yorkers knew that in the governor's mansion, they had a progressive who delivers, who was a real defense and offense against President Trump, and they weren't willing to give that up. A July 18th poll by Quinnipiac University shows what could happen if Nixon stays in the race. It shows Cuomo getting 43, Nixon 13, Republican Mark Molinaro 23, Green Party candidate Howie Hawkins 2, and Independent Stephanie Minor at 1. Nixon had this to say about her loss. And the movement that we are building, it isn't just about one candidate or one election. It is about offering a vision of the way things could work. A huge development also tonight was the defeat of many of the members of the former IDC. Those are breakaway Democrats who voted with Senate Republicans. At the end of the night, only one member from New York City was left standing. That's Staten Island Senator Diane Savino. We're live tonight at the Democratic Party headquarters in Midtown East. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.